Cheers! Hello friends, it is Danny, and today I am super, super excited because today I get to unbox and review slash get excited about fan mail box. It's so pretty. I was sent this box in exchange for an honest review. I'm gonna tell you guys about this box and unbox it. I'm really excited if you can't tell. I got to meet one of the co-founders of this box, Rose, when I was at BookCon and I was talking to her about potentially reviewing a box and so they sent me this one, which is the June box. I am not sure what is in here. Quick recap of what the fan mail box it is. It is a box curated by the co-founders Rose and Jenny, and they have made this box featuring high quality and really fun fandom related items. There are products from different TV shows and movies and books and everything a fangirl could want in a box. And things like t-shirts and jewelry and a bunch of other fun things that I'm excited about. Something I found out while I was searching through their website to do a little research, I found out that they ship their boxes on even numbered months, so February and April and June, etc. The box comes in two sizes. It comes in a small to extra large range, which is $21.99 US dollars per month, and a 2X to 4X size for $23.99. So, these are all American prices, but I think it gives you a very great range of sizes so that everybody can get one of these boxes and enjoy them. And I have a special coupon code, so if you use the coupon code DANNYDARLING, you will get 10% off of the very first box that you purchase from them. Now that I've done that ramble, I'm gonna go open the box. Side note, I've seen so many of book boxes like posted all over online and mainly on booktube with book boxes. I never knew that they actually just came in this box. I thought they were shipped in like a brown box and then you would take them out and then they were, you, I don't know why I assumed that but I, that's what I thought happened. Um, so I was very pleasantly surprised to just see this beautiful box show up in my mailbox. It's so pretty. I almost stabbed myself with the scissors, but nobody saw that. It's fine. Here. Whoop. There you go. Let's open it. Woo! So this is what it looks like on the outside. This month's theme is just for laughs, and the box also contains some fan mail smag, smag? swag to commemorate our anniversary. We hope you enjoy it and keep being a badass. Rose and Jenny. Oh my god! I see a candle! I can smell the candle. I'm gonna start with the candle. Came in two parts, the lid came off of it. What is it? I have Miraculous Max's Scented Candle and Calliope Candle Works. And it smells like sandalwood with a touch of chocolate to up to and including most dead resurrection for when you need a miracle. I, yeah, it smells so good. It does. It smells really good. All I can smell is chocolate in here. That is perf. Thank you. Did that candle smell good? There is a coffee mug, travel mug, uh, and it says Dunder Mifflin Inc. Paper Company. Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin. I'm not really sure what this is from. What's next? I'm going for the t-shirt. Pawnee Goddesses. It looks comfy. Is this from like a book or a TV show? I'm not sure. You know what? <sighs> That's better. That's better. This feels better. I love the way this feels. It's comfy. I still don't know where it's from though. <laughs> Stickers. I can put one of these on my computer because my computer is a never ending sticker pit. There's also a button. That is also fan mail related. Which I think it's cool that they're giving some swag because it was their anniversary or two year anniversary is coming up. There is an exclusive button and it says Broad City and it is a fan mail exclusive. There's a pair of sunglasses. And these are my favorite style of sunglasses too. I feel like they might be everybody's favorite, but they say fan mail on it. There's a pen as well. All the fan mail swag. Then there is, okay, girl, you can never do without a tote. 
This one I think I might use as like a swim bag because it's that like material that won't get wet. I have to take so many Instagrams. There is something Mean Girls related in here. But I'm going to look at this first. And I have this, which is a magnet and a sticker back here and then a pineapple tattoo. And they are from Psych. This makes me so happy. There is a burn book. Is it a, it's a notebook. It's a burn book from Mean Girls. On Wednesdays we wear pink, but today it's Tuesday, so I'm wearing purple. I'll wear pink tomorrow. I'm out! I'm out! I can't! I can't! I can't! Guys, guys, if you know me, you could ask anybody I know. You know that Friends is my favorite freaking show ever. And there is a something, and it says, I'll be there for you with the couch from Friends. I don't know what it is. It could be a notebook. Oh my god. Is it cards? It's stationery! It's cards! It's stationery. There's four. I'm not giving these away. These are staying with me. I might frame one and then I'll use the other three. But they're, f they're friends! They're my... <laughs> I can't. It makes me so happy. Excuse me while I cry. And the last thing in here is the card that has this picture on it. Why do I feel like that's very familiar? Oh, so, okay, this is a Parks and Rec shirt. I have not watched that show, but I'm, I have plans to, I promise. It's on my TBR, TBR, TBW list to watch, I promise. Burn Book is obviously from Mean Girls. This is another show that I haven't watched in fully, so I don't understand the joke, but it's from The Office, so I'm sure you guys know what this is. Obviously, the Friends greeting cards. I should have known this, but I haven't watched the movie in five ever. But this candle is from The Princess Bride, which makes me really happy. And then this picture, I now realize why it's so familiar, but I didn't recognize it because it's also from The Office. This definitely makes sense as to why all of the things are in there because they're all like comedy shows. And I know so many people, myself included, who love some of these shows like Friends and Mean Girls. I definitely like this because it's a big variety of things from different shows and places and they all make sense to be in this box and that's the best thing about fan mail is that every box is curated to a different theme but the theme like everything works in that theme so ah uh, I 10 out of 10 recommend you go and check out the fan mail boxes for August they've just I think they've just opened up their subscription box for August. Thank you, thank you so much to Jenny and Rose for sending this box to me. I absolutely love it. It's encouraged me now to go watch more of those shows because I've just recently been re-watching Friends and it makes me realize I should be watching a new show. So here I come Netflix. Oops. If you are going to subscribe to FanMail, be sure to use my coupon code which is Danny Darling, and you will get 10% off of your first box. I hope to be doing more bookish and swag related boxes unboxings like these in the future maybe another fan mailbox who knows comment down below let me know what you think of this box that is it for this video you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye thank you for watching my video hope that you really enjoyed the show hit the subscribe button down below and go and read some books